Another frequently asked question is, how much water storage do I actually need? And that's a discussion we have to have on an individual basis based on a couple of aspects. One is, how much stored water will we have in the well if we don't over pump? So we'd like that well to be holding a few hundred gallons, but in some cases, the well holds less than 15 or 20 gallons. That really tells us we need to talk about additional tanks. You may also have irrigation requirements in the summertime. I want to water my grass or my flowers. These are discussions that make us think possibly a second tank is needed. If that's the case, we have an easy way to do that. In the boiler drain that's in the bottom of every tank, we replace that boiler drain with what we call a manifold valve. So it goes into the tank. We give you a union to disconnect that if, if ever need be. We give you a boiler drain to still be able to manually drain the tank, a valve to isolate the tank. That's inserted in the tank. And then we just add the normal plumbing to plumb to a second tank next to it. So we go from an effective storage of 200 gallons to an effective storage of 400 gallons. So in this case, let's say your well yield uh, in a 24 hour period is about 300 gallons. Not a lot of water, but enough for a family of three or four, or even five, if they're conserving water. So we were able to collect 300 gallons on a daily basis, but we have 400 gallons of storage. The reason being the days we only use 250 gallons, we want to be able to collect that other 50, put it into storage. So the days we need to use 350 or 400 gallons, it's available from storage. Great way to make sure you always have enough water. The other reason I'll talk to you about maybe a second storage tank is that if you have sophisticated water conditioning equipment and the well can't support the backwash process for that equipment, we'll set up a circuit to backwash from your conditioned water. Ask any water conditioning expert, is that a good idea? And they'll tell you, no better way to clean your equipment than to clean it with conditioned water. So that would be another reason to think about a second tank. I'm going to talk you through that process and we're going to agree together what's the best uh, way to proceed.